Hi, I'm Lachlan and I teach The Research Project. This short video will explain the main things you need to know about the Stage 2 Research Project. The Research Project is all about you and what you want to learn. Throughout the project, you are in control of your own learning. This subject is an opportunity for you to research something you're interested in, decide how you carry out your research, decide on the way you produce your findings, and make judgments about how successful you've been. You can research anything that interests you. You could do something scientific, sporting, artistic, or historical. You could do something subject-based, or community-based. It really is up to you. Your learning is central to this subject, so it's important that you choose your research question carefully and seek advice from your teacher. You can find examples and advice on choosing a question on the Research Project mini-site. Everyone needs to know about the subject outline. There are a few things you need to be familiar with. The research framework is particularly important. There are four parts to the framework. Initiating and planning the research, developing the research, producing and substantiating the research outcome, reviewing or evaluating the research. This is how the subject is structured. You will also need an understanding of the performance standards, which you can find in the subject outline as well. The performance standards are used by your teacher when they grade your work. You'll also need to know about the assessment types. These are the folio, the research outcome, the evaluation if you're doing research project B, or review if you're doing research project A. These are the tasks you'll be handing in to your teacher for grading. Evidence of your research can be presented in a number of different ways. These include written, oral or multimodal. The only exception is the evaluation in Research Project B. The best way to start is to think about something you're interested in, but don't necessarily know too much about yet, and how this could potentially lead to a research question. Planning how you're going to find your information is also important. Once you have an idea of what you want to find out and how you're going to find your information, it's time to put all this in your folio. Information about designing a research question can be found on the Research Project mini site. Researching is collecting and developing ideas from information. Because researchers need to keep records of what they do, you'll need to create a way to keep a record of all the information you find and of how your research is developing. Your collection of information and what that information means is recorded in your folio. Really good researchers should try to get as much information as possible by using a range of research processes. Research processes are activities undertaken to generate information. Research processes could include surveys, interviews, action research, research from books, research from the internet, and more. Not at all. In fact, it's a great chance to put your problem-solving skills to good use. You'll be able to show how you turn things around and how you learnt from mistakes and challenges. Of course, you need to reference your research by identifying the sources that you have used. Referencing is used to acknowledge the contribution of other people's words and ideas towards your own research. More information about referencing can be found on the Research Project mini site. The research outcome is the answer to your research question. It's where you show your key findings and substantiate them with evidence and examples from your research. You can choose the way you wish to show these findings. Your research outcome could be either written, oral or multimodal. 
Imagine you researched the life of a famous artist. You could present your research outcome as an essay or report, an oral presentation, a short film, an obituary, an interactive website, a poster, plus many other ways. Just presenting what you've learnt is not enough. You need to prove your facts with evidence from your research. This is called substantiation. Substantiation means being able to show someone else where the ideas have come from. Being able to reference your information, ideas and material is really important. Speak to your teacher about how to do this well. Once you've finished your research and presented your findings, it's time to look back on your learning. This task is marked by both your teacher and the SACE board. If you are studying Research Project A, you'll need to produce a task called a review. This can be written, oral or multimodal. In the review, you need to review the knowledge and skills you've developed in response to your research question, discuss the decisions you made in response to challenges and opportunities, and reflect on the quality of the research outcome. If you're studying the research project B, you'll need to produce a task called an evaluation. It must be written. This task is marked by both your teacher and the SACE board. In the evaluation, you need to evaluate the research processes you used to find information for your research, evaluate the decisions you made in response to challenges and opportunities, and evaluate the quality of the research outcome. Just like the review, both your teacher and the SACE board mark the evaluation. The best place to find out more about the research project is to check out the research project mini site. The SACE board also holds a student expo during August every year. But the best source of information is your teacher. Make sure you ask questions if you're unsure about something. Research Project is about what you want to do and how you want to do it. Thanks for watching, have fun and enjoy your research project.